So why do you want to upgrade to the Maximal Application Suite? A lot of different reasons to do it. Two big differentiators right off the bat. One is business side of things. The other one's the IT side of things. From an IT perspective, uh, you need to remain current with what's going on in the IT landscape. Uh, applications today require current versions of operating systems. They require current versions of database platforms and our web servers and all of that stuff. Um, the legacy Maximo, about a year from now, that thing's going to be on extended support only, which means it's gonna be expensive to keep your support going. And another couple years after that, it's gonna be completely unsupported regardless of what you pay. So you, you need to be looking at moving to the newer platform. The newer platform is the application suite, and that's gonna keep you up on the IT side. From a business perspective, we have tools today available to all of us like ChatGPT. AI is changing the face of how we operate in our daily lives. And from a maintenance and asset management perspective, AI translates into better predictive maintenance cap capabilities. It also translates into a capability to discern nuanced problems and uncover those that we simply have not traditionally been able to do because as humans, there's only so much, you know, granular detail that we we can absorb. There's only, uh, you know, there's a limit to what we can see, what we can feel, what we can hear. By getting to the application suite, we have given ourselves the ability to analyze, you know, thousands of times more information and more detail. And when we start putting that into algorithms for predictive maintenance, operating against a good historical data set, we are going to see huge returns on investment. Now, reality is a lot of people who've been using Maximo for 10, 15, 20 years um, have been capturing some basic information about their work being performed, about their assets, about their spare parts. And the data may not be that great. What we probably need to do in those scenarios is take a step back, recognizing that we need to get predictive and that's where we need to be in the next 12 to 36 months and do an assessment, assess where we are, assess what the core components are, those critical components needed to get to predictive and go through a business value assessment, focus on the processes that get, get us there, focus on the components that get us there and get those implemented solid. So oftentimes it's a matter of getting rid of a lot of fluff, a lot of extra stuff that we're looking for and collecting that's not really providing any value focus on the path that generates direct value and moves us toward a predictive maintenance posture. That is what's going to generate value to the business overall. And once we've done that, then we can start adding in some of those extras, some of those nice to haves and flesh things out. But if we stick in the current Maximo, the Maximo 7.6 series, we're never going to get to that. We're not, we can get close, Absolutely, because we've been doing that, but we're not going to get to where the application suite will take us. Love to hear your thoughts on that. Questions, comments below.